Hello, how are you? Snow White, is that you? No. You're David, but you asked me to call you Speed Beacon. Do I look all right? Checking my sources, confirmed. My sources say you're looking mighty fine. Heads I go left, tails I go right. Flip a coin. Tails. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't understand. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to take a dump. Looking. Okay, one option I see is restroom on Overlook Drive. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. Really? You get, I gotta take a dump, but you don't get, I gotta go to the bathroom? Text Karen. What do you want to say to Karen? I'm going to stop for gas. I'll send it. Karen said. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that means, but at least it rhymes. I should play the lottery while I'm here. Pick a number between one and a thousand. 926. What is 192.1 divided by 8.75? About 21.9542. What is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. I'm tired. Can you drive? I don't think you're insured for that. What appointments do I have? At 6.30 p.m., Pilates with yoga. At 7.30 p.m., body waxing. On Thursday at 7 p.m., Pittsburgh Pirates game at PNC Park 115 Federal Street. Oh, the Pirates are horrible. Why can't they be like the Steelers or the Penguins? Play We Are the Champions. Here's We Are the Champions by Queen. Thank you. It is I who should be thanking you. Do you believe in God? It's all a mystery to me. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Speed Deacon. Ha 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 LOL. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Don't you have anything better to do? Not really. I'm stuck in traffic. A woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck woodchucks chucking wood, then a woodchuck could chuck wood chucking woodchucks. <laughs> the moment you've been waiting for, the one modification that can only be made to a 2016 model year Focus ST, and it's in this bag. Actually, it's in this box. Well, you probably guessed it already. It's uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or whatever it is. But anyway, you actually need this part to make that happen. The reason it's only for 2016 is because 2017's and on up will have Apple Car already come with Apple CarPlay or. And 2015s can't have it installed or earlier models because they need a whole new component system. You have to change out the, all the electronics in the dash because you need Sync 3. So basically you also need to have an ST3 version of the Focus ST. So the only modification for the 2016 model year ST3. Anyway, if you would like to know the cost, the cost of this is approximately, what is it, $70.73. It's kind of expensive, uh, but it's cheaper than actually updating your uh, navigation that comes with your car because it comes on an SD chip and it doesn't automatically update. You have to update the chip all the time to keep it updated, and I believe it's over $200 for that. Here's the directions that come with it. 
The important thing is read the directions. Uh, I'm, I never read the directions and then I it always ends up in a problem. It must be updated to Sync 3 version 2.2. I was on 1.0, so it was, it was the way it originally was when it came with the car. So here's the update. Here we go. First of all, I should tell you that downloading to the latest version of Sync will take a long time. It literally takes forever. Um, just go to the Ford website, and you can look around, and eventually you'll find out where to get it. And eventually you'll be able to get to the download page. It's kind of confusing. In fact, when I went to the Ford dealer, they said if you can install the newest version of Sync, you can do anything. And I did it. Um, this is kind of the way it went. Um, first, you have to know your login. And you'll notice here, I had no idea what my login and password was. I tried all kinds of different things, and none of it was really working out for me. Um, eventually, after many, many tries, I finally got in. Do yourself a favor, create a new one. Um, then you can eventually log in and it'll eventually come back and allow you to start downloading it. Um, and you can start to download and you, you download it first to your hard drive or whatever. And then from there, copy it down to your, uh, USB drive. Now it says in the directions to use like a 16 gigabyte uh, USB drive. And that's not true. I use an 8 gigabyte because I couldn't find a 16 gigabyte. I looked everywhere in my house. I couldn't find it. So I use an 8 gigabyte and I put it through and it worked fine. You just have to make sure it's blank. Now at this point they're trying to tell you that they, they'll send you a notification to your email box. Uh, about how to download this and I looked forever for this to come and it never did and as this downloads you're gonna have plenty of time for to do all kinds of stuff um, it takes forever I just have to tell you that Okay, after you download it onto the USB, then you put it in your car and go ahead and uh, install it. Thankfully, you can do it while you're oh. driving. Please do it while you're stopped first. You can drive after you install it. Don't install it while you're driving. I had all kinds of issues with that. Then you'll see it says updating system software. and. Then that'll just go like that for a while, and eventually it comes back and says installation complete. Okay, so here we go. We're going to uh, install this. As you can see here, it's got a new USB port that you need for Apple CarPlay. You just have to pop out the old one, put in the new one. I'm going to use this applicator that I normally use to spread out decals in the car to pull this out. You're supposed to use a trim removal tool. Um, number one, I think this is too tight for that. And um, I think this will fit in there better. And no. Screwdrivers from the teeniest. To the widest, but I'm, I'm using these instead of a trim tool thing because I like to destroy stuff. I'll probably mess this all up. There's one side up. So there it is, and it's got three plugs. It's got a black, a gray, and another big long gray there in the front. The real danger here is, the real danger is the fact you can pull these out and then they'll fall back inside the car and you'll never get them out again. You can see the, it's hard to see, but there's 
I got the roof open, but it's still just dark. So here we go. There we go. Now we're ready. It's got three connections. One there in the back, two there in the front, and it's just a matter of pulling those off. And of course, I'm ready to open the door to try and get some leverage, and now it's coming down like nothing. Of course, it's like 95 degrees in the car right now. And I just went to the pirate game. It was like 90 degrees today. It's just baking in the sun all day. Come on! And it's raining like a mother. Come on! And it stopped raining. It rains here every dang minute of the day. Constantly. Stop it! I think at some point I started to weep openly. I think it was the first time since Super Bowl 30 that I actually started to cry. That's how difficult this was. And the problem here is they give you about a half an inch worth of cord to work with. So you can't pull it out to actually pull it. They assume this is going to be in here forever and it's not. Anyway, here's a couple hints that might help you if you have to install this yourself. Um, number one, do yourself a favor and get yourself a popsicle stick. Have a popsicle, they're wonderful. I got one here, even has a joke on it. Why couldn't the rooster go on the roller coaster? Because he was chicken. Get yourself a twisty tie and then attach that to any cord that you're disconnecting. That way, the popsicle stick will prevent the uh, stick from going down inside, the cord from going down inside. Another trick is uh, to disconnect it. To disconnect it, use one of these teeny tiny screwdrivers. It's real hard to figure out where, where you have to push it in, but use that and it'll disconnect right away. And Okay, so here we go. We don't have time for the video, garbage. <laughs> I want to go in the house. I've had a very hot day, and I am tired with your, of your reindeer games. <laughs> so okay. All I do is play reindeer games. With okay, you. so there's three cords here, and we've lost one of them down the chute. So this is how you fish it back out. Um, we disconnected the console at the back. Could we do the audio later and just... We could do the audio later, but it's easier if we do it now. Okay, you got to. Do you feel it? So she's dropping a shoestring down in there because we dropped the one cord. We? I dropped the one cord. Now she's down there fishing it out. So she's now tying a string around the cord that we've dropped down in there. We can see the two. Two of the cords are right there. Pull it back up. Huh? Pull the string back up. Okay, here. Okay. There it is. Got the third. Got the third string now. Fished it back up. Now we're gonna reconnect. Finally. What a mess. That was an absolute nightmare. You think it's easy, just pull a plug, put it back in. Actually, pull three plugs. But no. Just like that light just goes out. It was daylight when I started this. So you're just pulling three plugs, plugging them back in. Unbelievable. Previously, you saw or heard, um, me using Apple CarPlay at the beginning of the video. That's basically it right there. Um, but these are some pictures of what it looks like. Um, first of all, you have to make sure 
that you connect your phone to that USB in the console. Um, it doesn't work if you connect it to the USB that's kind of in the, uh, that one under the air conditioning, that, that doesn't work. Because once you connect that, that air, the Apple CarPlay kind of takes over. Although you can press the button uh, that says uh, forward on it, and that brings you back to the regular. So you can always get back to the way it used to be by connecting that, even when your phone's installed. If you disconnect the phone, it's back to the to the forward way. The navigations are similar. Um, there are a lot of advantages to the Apple CarPlay navigation. Uh, number one, when I get in the car, it knows what my schedule is. It knows when I'm going to work. It knows when I'm coming home. It knows when I'm going to mass. It knows when I have an appointment somewhere and it automatically brings up where I'm supposed to drive, which is really nice. It automatically increases and decreases the picture depending on what speed I'm going and whether I have to make a turn. Like if I'm making a turn, it like zooms in on the turn and it zooms back out. And it's nice in that way. Uh, another really nice feature about Apple CarPlay is the fact that its voice recognition is way better than the Ford version. It understands my Pittsburgh ease or whatever's coming out of my mouth and it does it fine. So that really is good. Um, the Ford version is horrible. The Ford version also expects destinations and stuff to be in a very specific order and it's very hard to enter it. This you can just randomly spit out stuff and it figures out where you need to go and what you're looking for. Uh, when we were driving to Utah using the Ford Navigation, you would say, like, I have to go to Utah Motorsports Park, and it wouldn't figure out where Utah Motorsports Park was when we were literally a half a mile away from it. Pretty much everything else, I think the, the music is the same. Um... The controls are similar. Text messaging is the same, although with Apple Car Flip Play, um, you can actually respond back. You can't do that with the Ford, which is uh, an advantage of Apple Car Play as well. Would I recommend getting an Apple Car Play? I actually would because even though you're spending $60, you always have updated navigation. It's updated all the time. Um, it's good in that way. It is expensive if you don't have an unlimited data plan because it's constantly using the data plan on your phone. Thankfully, I never gave up my unlimited data plan. They tried to give me everything in the kitchen sink to get rid of it, and I refused. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, anyway, I hope you got some information out of it. If anything, you could see me acting like an idiot, um, which is pretty much every install I do, pretty much is me being an idiot. I have a bunch of other installs of me doing other stuff and I ordered a bunch of stuff from Mountain on the Labor Day 15% off sale so I'll be messing up my car really bad and then figuring out how to do it and probably calling my wife who um, subscribe, like, dislike, leave any comments. Um, I read everything. I try to respond to everything. Um, anyway, God bless. Another pain is you gotta have your phone. Where is my phone? I'll be back. <laughs> nice. I'm recording with my phone. There it is. And it has to be connected and it doesn't reach. Way to go, buddy. I can't get it there. See, it's a drawback. You gotta have your phone connected. Which is absolute craziness.